I welcome you to this presentation on intravehicular communication or intravehicular network. In this video, I am going to talk about uh, what are the different communication protocols which are used in the intravehicular communication or intravehicular network like CAN, LIN, FlexRay, MOST and LIN protocol. So basically what is intravehicular networking? The intravehicular networking is basically the communication between the ECUs within a vehicle. Okay, what I mean by ECU is ECU is an electronic control unit which controls the vehicle subfunctions like uh, engine, braking system, suspension system, steering system. Okay, so there is a dedicated ECU for each of the subsystem which is called as electronic control unit. So there is a ECU which controls braking which is called as anti-lock braking system. There is a ECU which controls the suspension system. There is a ECU which controls the steering system. So in the modern vehicle there are 70 plus ECUs within a vehicle. And uh, they are interdependent. That is the reason they need to communicate with each other. Like for example anti-lock braking system controls the braking system. Which has got a, a wheel speed sensors as an input. So which calculates the vehicle speed based on the wheel speed sensors. So that wheel speed sensor information needs to be shared or a vehicle speed information needs to be shared with uh, other issues like airbag system need that information, steering system, uh, system need that information, suspension system need that information, airbag system need that information, engine system need that information. So that information needs to be shared with all other issues. That is the reason we need intravehicular communication. Hmm. What is the advantage of sharing is instead of uh, every issues having their own sensors, they can just get the information from this other issues. So by this you can reduce a lot of hardware complexity, you can reduce uh, the cost, Okay, you can reduce the size, you can improve the performance. So these are the advantages of uh, uh, using intravehicular communication. So that is the reason we need a communication between the issues. Okay, so there are multiple ways uh, they can communicate with each other. They can communicate uh, over wireless or wire, but most preferred communication protocol or communication media is wired because uh, the wireless is more prone to noise. So it, some cr safety critical uh, is used like airbag, engine engine management system issue or it could be braking system issue which are very safety critical. So such info, for such issue the information has to be very accurate. So that is the reason always it wired way of uh, communication is preferred. Again there are multiple ways to communicate. Uh, multiple ways to communicate uh, using a wired way of communication like uh, there are already uh, communication protocols like SPI, I2C, UART, uh, RS-232, RS-485, multiple uh, communication protocols are existing. But still every protocol has one or the other drawbacks like uh, uh, you take uh, RS-232, the multi number of devices you can uh, com uh, connect is limited by two. You take other communication protocols, uh, uh, they have some limitation on number of devices you connect, some limitation on the speed, some uh, uh, protocols doesn't have the error handling capability. So that is the reason the automotive industry has gone for uh, other protocols like CAN which is more robust in communication, which is uh, highly immune to noise. So that is the reason there are other communication protocols like uh, FlexRay, uh, MOST, FlexRay, MOST, KWP2000 uh, and uh, LIN. So there are multiple protocols which are being used. So I discussed about uh, what are the advantages of intravehicle communication. So the, uh, the, by sharing the information over these uh, communication protocols, you can reduce the hardware complexity, you can reduce the, the cost, you can reduce the size the number of wires going in around uh, uh, are reduced so these are the advantages of intravehicle communication we will also see the different protocols which are used and their features like uh, look at the can uh, okay can is a controller area network which is developed by bosch way long ago 
it is a serial asynchronous communication protocol with a max bit rate of 1 mbps but usually the industry go for around 500 kbps it is a multi master and it, it just just uses two wires so you can connect multiple uh, uh, issues in the same network so it has it is a very robust communication protocol which is uh, widely used in uh, almost every vehicle okay coming up uh, to the next uh, protocol uh, which is the lin protocol which is uh, a low cost protocol which is developed by some consortium it's a low cost communication protocol and uh, it is used for non safety critical application like uh, controlling the uh, mirrors windows some uh, non safety critical sensors are uh, interfaced using a lin protocol uh, of course it is the baud rate of the lin is uh, uh, much lesser than can it just operates at the max baud rate or bit rate of about 20 kbps it is a single master and multiple uh, slaves uh, when you compare with the can the can is a multi master where there is no one master everybody is master they can send data at any point of time whereas in lin there is a single master and multiple slaves so you can connect uh, multiple uh, devices in the network and it just uses one wire so even the complexity is also reduced by making use of lin this is used for non safety critical application coming to flex ray uh, flex ray is uh, uh, is is much faster than can it is 10 times faster than can it has a max bit rate of uh, 10 mbps uh, so it is a time and event trigger protocols if you want more details uh, about the flex ray please do watch my other videos okay it is used for high performance applications okay coming to most uh, most is the uh, the media oriented communication uh, uh, protocol so it's used for media oriented applications with a maximum bit rate of 1 mbps 64 devices can be networked using this with a sample rate of 44.1 or 48 so basically it is used for media oriented devices and then we have a kwp 2000 